We have with us the president and CEO of Aegis Branch, Steve Pelton. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. Appreciate your time. Uh, and why don't we just start with uh, the transaction itself and what's motivating you here? We know you've had a, a relationship with Second Cup and some restructuring at prior to this, but why was now the right time to make this sale? Well, I think it's important that we start by saying we weren't looking really to sell Second Cup. Um, you know, we we really believe in the brand. It's a, it's a great company with a lot of equity, a lot of legacy. Um, but, you know, everyone's challenged with some pandemic uh, woes and, and drop in sales. And when we were approached by Foodtastic, we looked at this deal long and hard, and it made sense for us. Um, and it, and more importantly, it made sense for the the franchisees and the people in Second Cup. So. As the deal goes, I think it's it's you know there's three major stakeholders that I, I consider. Um, of course, Aegis, the the company that remains behind, and with a strong balance sheet, we can execute on our you know our strategy to consolidate food, beverage, and and potentially hemisphere and cannabis, as well as the the franchisees, corporate stores. They get to move on with a Canadian-based owner that's well capitalized that wants to grow. So we think it's good for. Uh Sorry, go ahead. Well, just I just want to just pause there and ask you. I mean, obviously, you you do have these other properties, right? Hemisphere. You're focused on cannabis. How much did the pandemic and its effect on the second cup business affect um, any thinking you had around that particular business? How hard has it been for second cup, I guess, through this pandemic, Steve? Well, I think uh, you know I said it to David earlier. Uh, there's a lot of us in in my role that do a lot of speculation day to day on on what the new normal is going to look like coming out of this and it, it you know we're all just doing that and speculating but we're looking at this when um you know if if this offer had it came in a pre-pandemic time i think the only difference might have been uh the price right but otherwise we still think it would have been a, an opportunity we would have explored and so as you sell it what kind of changes do you expect what do you know about what the plan is for the second cup franchise well, I mean, that's that's a more of a question for Foodtastic. I know that they want, they really like the brand. They're very excited to get, uh, you know, uh, representation on something they own across the country because they're they're mostly uh, Quebec focused. Um, you know, I, I I've got to know the the purchaser over the period of time we've been talking. They're, they're great people. Uh, they really believe uh, in Second Cup and what it has to offer. There's you know, there's quite a few stores in in Quebec already, so they're very familiar with it. So I think I think the future is bright for them. I can't speak to what their exact strategies are. That would be a, a question for them. And as for you, uh, you obviously you've got the, the Hemisphere brand and cannabis. Uh, how important is, is cannabis as you think about your potential for expansion? Now that you've got, you've got obviously some additional cash here, will it be acquisitions? Will it be organic growth? What's your thought there? Yeah, it's a, it's a very good question. I think we're we're exploring both food and beverage and hospitality and uh, cannabis. And we're trying to look at where the best opportunities for us as a consolidator can be. Um, it's a little too early to tell which we're going to put most of our focus behind because a lot of the focus has been on, on getting this deal across the line. But we are exploring both. Um, and when it comes to growth in either side, I think there'll be a healthy share of organic growth as well as uh, some acquisitions. You know, Second Cup has been a bit of an underdog uh, in the market for a little while, and that was even before we saw giants like McDonald's kind of threatening the space. Uh, big players like Starbucks came in. How healthy is the market for a player that has, I think at last check, about 14% still of the market share in this country? Yeah, I think it's, you know, the brand has got such great equity, and they put a great product, and there's great people in it. And I think... When you have those things, those three things going for you, you can overcome a lot of challenges. Um, you know, you, you couple that with uh, a company that wants to grow it uh, as well, capitalize, and it's it's really, you know, the future de is determined by them, and I think they've got the right assets to do that. Steve, it's great to have you with us. Appreciate your time. That is Steve Pelton, President and CEO of Aegis Brands.